Welcome to the video version of Visibility at Your Library. Here's one more example of how libraries are changing in dynamic places. I'm Dale Lipschultz. I'm the Literacy Officer in ALA's Office for Literacy and Outreach Services, OLOS. And I am the Project Director of The American Dream Starts at Your Library. The purpose of The American Dream Starts at Your Library is to collect and aggregate and really develop a home for resources that libraries have already developed for literacy services for adult English language learners. So that librarians who are providing these services have some place to go. They know that resources have been collected and developed by other libraries in the field and they're able to use them to meet sort of the immediate needs of their community. The second goal is to, of the project is to provide funding for libraries who need additional assistance to provide these kinds of services. And the Dollar General Literacy Foundation has given us substantial money, in fact enough to fund 34 libraries who are either currently delivering services or very much need to do it in their community. The 34 libraries are actually dispersed across 17 states, which is really quite remarkable. Nine of the libraries are very rural and located in small and very isolated communities. Um, Eleven of the libraries are in suburban areas, and the remainder of the libraries are in urban areas. There's a really interesting distribution in terms of population. The smallest library is in a community of 850 people in Hooper, Nebraska, while the largest library is in Virginia in a community of over a million. What similarities run through is their need to provide services to really, really different and um, sort of dispersed populations in, in many ways. The library in Hooper, Nebraska has a few Spanish-speaking families that come in, but currently they only have books in English on their shelves, so there's a real need to, to provide services to the whole community. A number of the communities are providing resources for Somali immigrants, um, which is again a new population coming in. And I believe it's the, the library in Milwaukee that is expecting a large influx of Iraqi immigrants to come in. So they need to pre be prepared for that. We have one library in Athens, Georgia that is actually located in the middle of a trailer park. And again, they're providing resources for the migrant population. So we've really seen a tremendous distribution of libraries and of the kinds of services, of the resources they have, um, of who they serve, and certainly of how they provide and develop services. Many libraries, as you well know, don't have the capacity to go out to send library staff out into the community to do effective outreach. I think the opportunity to use the funds to develop a video is, number one, very creative and really has the potential to reach a lot of people. Uh, I like that particular proposal. I was surprised to see the number of libraries that were using the funds to purchase laptops and other kind of computer related materials. Um, three of the libraries are actually buying laptops so they can develop mobile language labs so that they can again go out into the community and reach the people that need the services. Others are using it to buy software. Rosetta Stone is very popular and very costly. So they're going to be installing these on public access computers. So there's a, lot, a big emphasis on technology, as there should be, because it's such a critical piece of literacy development. Um, one of the libraries is going to be developing a tutor training manual, because they feel they know that the way they're training literacy tutors is not very organized, not standardized, and not very effective. And they feel by developing a manual, they'll then have this sort of this lasting product that'll come out of the grant. It'll, they'll be able to update it, adapt it, but at least there'll be something in writing that they can use. There are examples all across the board in terms of collection development, resource development, staffing, but I think those really stand out. The Dollar General Literacy Foundation has always had a strong interest in literacy and particularly the, how it affects communities. One of the criteria for the grants was that each grantee, in order to apply, um, the grantee needed to be within 20 miles from a Dollar General store. So Dollar General very much wants to support the communities 
where their employees live and work. Their interest in literacy certainly goes to that, to improving the lives of their families and their communities. They also look at sort of smaller and underserved communities, which, fit, which fits very well into the project that we're doing. They also do a lot of funding on the local level. I was surprised to learn how many of the libraries that we funded in this initiative already had a relationship with the Dollar General store in their community. I was in Tennessee just on vacation and driving through, and I made a site visit to a Dollar General store somewhere between Knoxville, Tennessee and Gatlinburg, um, just a very small store. We pulled off the road. I went in to see what the store looked like and to buy something, and I bought a journal because I'd forgotten my journal. And it was $2 plus tax, and so I gave the woman at the register $2.25. She gave me change back and said to me, you can contribute to our literacy fund. That's really an important cause. The Dollar General Literacy Foundation is a partner of the Campaign for America's Libraries. The American Dream Starts at Your Library really creates a visceral response um, from almost anybody that you tell it to. People love the title, the image that it conveys, and the issues that it conjures up. I think it's very powerful and very effective, and I think we've been working on this and talking about it for a long time, probably close to four years at this point. To have it be an actuality is really remarkable, to see the proposals, to see the differences, and the opportunity to fund these libraries, I think is certainly more than I anticipated.